Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I will be sharing a tutorial on Dawa DVR online configuration. Before we proceed with the DVR configuration, please ensure that you have connected your DVR to the internet modem. Alright, let me demonstrate. As you can see here, the DVR is connected to the modem router using an Ethernet cable, and make sure the LAN indicator on the DVR both lights up. After confirming that the connection between the DVR and the modem is working fine, we will now return to the DVR monitor screen. Now, let us proceed to access the DVR menu. Begin by right-clicking on the monitor screen and selecting the main menu. Enter the password or pattern when prompted. Subsequently, navigate to the network menu and proceed to the TCP slash IP menu. Click on the Edit option. Ensure that the DHCP option is enabled at this stage, and then select OK. Finally, click on Apply to save the configuration. Once you have clicked on Apply, verify that your DVR has automatically obtained an IP address from the router. Next, please access the P2P menu. Ensure that you have enabled the P2P service and verify that the connection status is online. Then, proceed to download the DMSS application by scanning this QR code or by directly searching for DMSS in the Play Store or App Store. Now, let's proceed with the configuration on your mobile phone. Firstly, open the DMSS application. Once it successfully opens, click on the plus sign located in the upper right corner of the screen, then select SN slash scan. Point your camera towards the QR code of the device SN found in the P2P menu. Once the scanning is successful, click on Next. Proceed by selecting DVR slash XVR. In the Device Name field, enter the name of your DVR, and in the Device Password field, enter your DVR password. Afterward, please click on Save. In the next step, simply click on Done. Congratulations! You have successfully added your Dawa DVR to the DMSS application. Now, you can monitor your Dawa CCTV camera using mobile phone. That's it. That's how you Dawa DVR online configuration. We hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please remember to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.